<sighs> vinyl records, vinyl, wax, LPs, records, vinyls. These terms are all used interchangeably, but are any more right than the other? Are there any wrong answers? Today I'm turning to the comment section of my recent video, Three Things to Never Do If You Own Vinyl Records. Are you mad yet? Because some of these people are. It's time to argue. Scrambled Eggs Music says how, I think she meant who, gives an F about terminology. Want to scare people away from collecting? That's how everything else makes sense. I agree to an extent, but I also find it extremely grating when somebody uses an improper term of there. When people mix those up, it kind of like gets under my skin. Same with your versus your. Y-O-U-R versus Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. That's my own problem, I'm sure. But I also know I'm not alone. JWD1992. I have hated hearing people say vinyls for years. However, I think it actually has become legitimate just due to how widespread it is. I never say it, just like I would not refer to gold reserves as golds. Languages evolve in weird ways. Similarly, I never refer to an individual record as a vinyl, but a lot of people do, including plenty of serious collectors. So I think it is now legitimate. JWD 1992, you absolutely have a point. But being a stickler when it comes to proper grammar and, and things along those lines, as much as I agree with you, I also just find the word vinyls cringy. And here is Ganon Kenobi, who says, the whole vinyls thing is kind of gatekeepy. If you know that the person is saying vinyls means the plural of vinyl and give them bleep, you're just being a bleep about it. I think educating people in terms of proper grammar is an okay thing to do. And yes, that can also come out as being a bit of an a-hole about about the whole thing as well, but personally, I would rather educate and have somebody be educated about it than just to like let them go through the world using improper grammar. That's that's me though. I I can be a bit of a grammar stickler like that. Perhaps the way I presented it came off as gatekeepy, and what can I do? Lost Planet Radio, and I love this one. I absolutely love this one. Giggles. Number four. So he added a fourth one, or she added a fourth one to my list. There aren't grooves. A standard record has one continuous groove. Wink. As someone else said, they only recently started to become vinyl. For decades, they were simply records. I love that because uh, it points out that that's, that's absolutely true. Um, records only have a groove. Actually, there is there are two grooves, um, one on each side. But that aside, when you talk about one side, it's just one continuous groove as opposed to grooves. After I responded saying, did I say grooves? I probably did. Smack my head. Hence the thumbnail, don't be this guy, aka me, who highlights the Grammatical inaccuracy of vinyls, yet botches grammar in another tip. If you're going to put yourself out there on YouTube or anything like that, you got to be able to poke fun at yourself sometimes. And they responded, now don't get me started on calling vinyl records wax. That can be number five. Please stop referring to dead wax, my wax collection, and this piece of wax sounds great. And it's the quote-unquote, older farts that seem to enjoy talking about wax wink. I'm, I'm not sure if um, I'm included in the older farts part uh, as today, as of recording this, um, is my 44th birthday. No one is playing wax these days, except maybe an archivist or antique collector. 
So that's another interesting one. I know I have actually referred to vinyl as wax on occasion, but it's it's a rare occasion at that. I think I actually did it in a recent video. In addition to that, I did just launch my Poetic Wax series as uh, as a podcast, which you can now find on Apple, Amazon, and Spotify. But I also post them right here on YouTube every Sunday, where I dig into the history history, and so forth of records in my collection. Wax isn't one that necessarily bothers me all too much, but uh, I can definitely see why that might grate at some people's nerves. Now, the one thing I will point out about the dead wax comment is that it is really a term for that area between the groove and the label, that kind of empty space where you have the run out numbers, the matrix, all of that kind of stuff that really pinpoint what version of an album you have. Yes, that can also be dubbed run out area, uh, but I most often have heard it referred to as dead wax. Redhound1 says, I don't have any vinyl. I do, however, have a lot of records. Vinyl equals newbie slash hipster. You know, like JWD 1992 said in an earlier comment, uh, vinyls has kind of taken over in terms of some terminology where it's almost become a bit legitimate. Now, vinyl, singular and plural, um, I think has also been there for quite a while. Vinyl is just one of those terms that seems to be very commonplace now, unless uh, you are like me with vinyls, um, very set in your ways in terms of terminology. RS500 GS Oat says, maybe it's because I'm an old fart, but I call them records, record collection, etc. I've never used the term vinyl. Same old BS says, that's the way it should be. Ellipsis dash millennial. New River Ratsim says, records, LPs, albums, nothing else. And Electric Wizard 3000 in this continued thread says, record is just short for recording. Though nobody says CD record, it would not be technically incorrect. Album is literally any collection of songs, regardless of format they're delivered on. I go for LPs because only LPs are vinyl records. That's an interesting one, as LP, obviously, if you're not aware, means long play, and long play is associated with longer albums, aka anything that goes on a 12-inch record uh, over five, six, seven, I would say, usually songs. And yeah, you don't call them a CD record. And I also have a friend who is adamant about never calling an album LP unless you're actually referring to a vinyl record. So that makes sense, in my opinion. Crazy Praying Mantis 5596. Hey there. Welcome back. You comment relatively frequently and uh, appreciate your continued uh, visiting of my channel and also dropping in comments and calling me out when and where it makes sense. They say there are no rules. Do what you want with your records. Crazy face, rock and roll, hand gesture. You know, I, I do agree with that um, for the most part. The the whole purpose of that video was to really kind of point out some things that personally I don't think you should do if you have vinyl records. Whether or not you actually abide by them is really up to you. And, um, and because of that, yes, there are no rules and you can do what you want with your records, but don't let me catch you calling them vinyls. And then we have the final one, Vinyl and Kicks 86. And they say, I call records vinyls on purpose to trigger boomers and hipsters. And Christopher Chadwick 480 responded that I call vinyl records on purpose to trigger millennials and Gen Zers. I love this. This is why YouTube comments can be both the bane of my existence, but also a well, uh, deserved form of entertainment. Freeman 10,000 responded to that entire thread 
saying, calling vinyl records vinyls is just crap grammar. And so when it comes down to it, yes, there are no rules really when it comes down to it. You can do what you want with your vinyl. You can do what you want with your vinyl records. You can do what you want with your wax, with your vinyls. You can call it what you want, but when it comes down to it, vinyls is just crap grammar. If you want to check out that original video, you can do that right up here or drop your thoughts and arguments in the comments below. I'm Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl channel, and I'll see you in the next video.